This is Anchor Your Retirement with Barb Golan from Safe Harbor Financial Planning Group. When a part of your financial strategy is out of tune, your long-term goals, your retirement savings, and your legacy can all suffer. With many years of experience in the financial industry, Barb Golan provides her clients and prospects the information they need regarding Social Security, retirement income planning, wealth management, and much more. Listen in as we address your financial concerns and provide helpful strategies to put you on the path to achieving your retirement goals. And now here is Anchor Your Retirement with Barb Gullen. Welcome to the Anchor Your Retirement podcast. I'm your host, Barbara Gullen, and hanging out with me from maybe the not so gloomy Minnesota is Tony Shore. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, Partly cloudy today, a little cool, but, you know, we've been in the 40s and 50s, you know, and uh, no snow, so can't complain. gloomy and chilly down here. You guys might be warmer than us right now. I think we're hovering in the mid-30s, and we've got that misty, yucky, just enough to turn your wiper blades on kind of rain going on. We're at 40 right now. Yeah. Partly sunny. This is like good chicken noodle soup and grilled cheese sandwich weather. Oh, it's, wow. Wow. Or fireplace weather. Okay. Yes. That's how yeah. I couch it. Wow. Yeah. Fireplace <laughs> weather. That's good. <laughs> yep. Or get some of that chicken soup for the soul, right? Ah, how many of those books did you read <laughs> in the 90s? I read one, and my wife probably had three or four of them. But I was going to say, I've read several of yeah. them. And there's probably some good, there's some good wisdom. There's some fun wisdom. There's some in really there. cute essays yeah. in some of those. Yeah. Maybe we ought to go back and reread them. And Well, you could do your own version of it, like financial soup for the financial soul, chicken noodle soup for the financial soul, or... Yeah, financial soup for the retirement soul, or yeah, you could do something, Barb. We could do something with that. We'll have to brainstorm after we're yeah. done recording. My ideas were terrible, but something, something. <laughs> yeah, those were not good ideas, but uh, <laughs> those didn't spark anything, did they? Uh, okay, I was just throwing stuff out there. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a long week, Barb. It what has, and it is Friday afternoon, <laughs> and it's about time for the weekend. So yeah. let's usher everybody into the weekend, shall we? Yeah, with some great financial tips. Now, Barb, what do you have for us today? What do you want to talk about? Today, I want to talk about investing to sustain your cash flow. Okay. Because unless you are fortunate enough to be somebody who has a pension like a federal employee or a state employee or a first responder or civil servant of some sort, say that five times fast, but a civil servant of some sort. Oh, yes. a yeah. Yeah. It's a one. tough one. And yeah. we thank you all for your service. Um, if you're going into retirement, wondering if you've got enough money, um, wondering if you're going to make it, you know, cause we talk about average lifespan being 80 to 87, depending on whether you're a man or woman and lifestyle mm-hmm. and that kind of thing. But it's just that it's an average. If you think about it, you could live very well into your 90s. And if you have managed to save something like, if you've saved like a million dollars for retirement, or no, that wasn't what it is. If you are um, upper middle class, in the top 1% of income earners, which by the way, is only $130,000 a year. Oh, wow. We'll put you in that. Uh, This is a statistic that we learned last week while I was at that training I was telling you about. You will more than likely add a decade to your lifespan just because of the amount of savings that you have, because you have access to healthcare, you're probably eating a healthier diet, you're more active more often than not. So, you know, when somebody comes in and says, well, the statistics say I'm only going to live to be 82, 84, whatever that is. I, as a planner, don't look at things that way. Because if you're wrong and you outlive that, and I've planned for that, your family's going to be mad at me. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't done your due diligence then. And uh, I know I hear, 
you know, you've mentioned before, you, you need to plan out until 90 or 100. People are living longer, right? And the, uh, you need a retirement plan that will last that long. You really do. And even if you didn't work for a company where you get the benefit of a pension, there are some investment strategies that we can use where we can create something similar to that for you if we start soon enough and plan properly so that you have a stream of income that is going to pay you for as long as you live, regardless of the status of the account. Right. So uh, basically what we need to do is make sure that our assets that we're building up now during the working years, um, especially the closer we get to retirement, are in the right place and we're doing the right things with those so they will last. Is that right. what this is about? Uh, yeah. Yes. And, and we also need to be as tax efficient as possible about this when we're making those plans. I was interviewed for a magazine yesterday um, and they came in and we were talking about taxes because tax, the tax deadline is just around the corner. You've it's got about, time. yep. By the time this airs, they'll have what, about four weeks to get yeah. their taxes in. Yeah. Um, but unless you file an extension, which if you can get them in on time and paid on time is always going to be to your advantage. Yes. Yes. Um, so, you know, when we're looking at things, number one, if you're sitting there with money in a retirement account that is Mm pre-tax, believe it or not, not all of that money is yours. A chunk of that already belongs to the IRS. You just haven't given it to them yet. Yeah, that's too bad. You have to look at it as a joint account, a tradition. You're talking about the traditional IRA, um, the the traditional 401k, 403b, those types of tax deferred accounts. Yeah, the pre-tax dollars that you've contributed over all those years. And even if you've participated in a Roth account, if your employer has some sort of match, that matching plan, that's gone into those pre-tax accounts as well. Yeah. So it would be unusual for somebody to have savings for retirement and not have at least something in that tax deferred bucket where you owe taxes. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, I mean, it's, it's slowly changing. I mean, Roth 401ks are a relatively new option. And so uh, most people's employer sponsored accounts are tax deferred, the majority. Right. You know, most of the people that come in and talk to me, whether it's 200,000 or $2 million, you know, you may have actually done yourself a bit of a disservice by saving as much as you did because it wasn't done tax efficiently, not your fault. Okay. You only know what you know, and you only have resources to what you have resources to at that time. But if we want to create some sort of income cash flow that's going to sustain you through your retired years, you know, beyond what the projected life expectancy is, it's really important for you to connect with a fiduciary. And if you have an advisor or a fiduciary that isn't talking to you about tax problems and that isn't talking to you about making sure that you've got enough money to, sustain you through your retirement years, then you owe it to yourself to get a second opinion and get another look at these things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Get a second opinion on where you're at. Uh, And I encourage our listeners, Barb, to give you a call at 913-553-6222 and get a second opinion. Come in. Uh, There's no charge or obligation, but they can get a second opinion on where they're at and see if they've got a good plan to move forward throughout retirement and make sure it's going to last. Yeah. My hope is that everybody who comes through our doors is in good shape. More often than not, there's something else that we need to do to tweak the plan to complete it. It's not that it's wrong. It's that we just haven't, it's not complete. Okay. Um, You know, I mean, if you, ran out of time taking a test, you got a bad grade on it, not because you didn't know, but because you didn't get a chance to finish the test when you were in school. There you go. And good analogy. 
and sometimes you don't even know that, you know, I mean, I don't know. Did you ever have one of those moments in high school where you were plugging away at a test thinking you were doing just fine? Class is almost over and you flip it over and there's like a whole other page that you still need. Been, to out. I think we've all been there and your heart drops. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I don't want figuratively for my clients to get to that point where they're just about out of money and they flip the page and they've still got five or six years left to live. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want your bank account to hit zero before your blood pressure does. That is a really interesting way of putting it, Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. That Uh, is totally a Friday way of putting it. I'll give you credit for that. (laughs) Uh, 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 My old buddy Tom Lowry in Atlanta told me that once, and I've never forgotten it. That's Uh, cute. uh, Yeah. I don't know if you ever knew Tom, but Tom Lowry was a character. He was an advisor. He's retired now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a character. Uh, But uh, he's retired now. But he always said that you don't want your bank account to hit zero, Tony, before you're blood pressure does yes yeah very true and you know the thing is is if somebody comes in and talks to us we have a couple of different strategies maybe even more than that that we can utilize to put together an income stream for you so that you don't have to worry about outliving your money and you know you don't know what you don't know right and there are a lot of people out there that thanks to Robin Hood and the advent of all of those things and investing on your own and AI bots that try to tell you how to invest in all of that, think that they can do it on their own. But I would tell you that, you know, there's, you're never going to go wrong by incorporating another human who has knowledge and experience into the scenario and and into the story you know i it's like we've said before when you get sick you go to a doctor and you don't just use webmd or you know chat gpt to google (laughs) to search your symptoms and see what your possible illness is and you you know most people don't walk into their doctor's office going i need a prescription for xyz because this is what i have Now, some people who have recurring problems, they know what's going on. That's a different story. But, you know, you owe it to yourself to work with an expert, to talk to an expert. Um, Sustaining your cash flow is something that is going to be pivotal in whether or not you actually can retire. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and 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 the you talked about taxes being a big factor in allowing you to have a cash flow that will last you through retirement. Uh, mm-hmm. The way you invest, um, it, whether it's in the market or different types of funds or bonds or you know cash value life insurance annuities, you have your social security. There are so many different options out there now. And the landscape's always changing. The IRS and government kind of move the shell game. Mm-hmm. And with the Secure Act and Secure 2.0, they changed a lot. So I can't even fathom, Barb, doing this without working with somebody like yourself and utilizing. But you need to work with somebody also who's going to look at all the available options. You know, if you, yes. if you work with an insurance only person, they're going to tell you, hey, you got to have put all your money into life insurance mm-hmm. or annuities. If you talk to just a uh, a stockbroker, they're going to say, oh, my goodness, you got to put everything in the stock market. Mm-hmm. And uh, I would rather work with a fiduciary who's going to look out for my best interest based on my situation and and, and, and look at just, all the options and then pick which, you know, help guide me to make decisions on which ones I want to use based on my decisions and look at all the options. That's the key. Right. And working with somebody who has licenses in both arenas. Um, not because, oh my goodness, they're going to take advantage of you and double dip. That's not the case. When you've got licenses on both sides of that, on the insurance side and on the investment side, it allows me as a fiduciary to look at the whole picture and look at the whole market and figure out what the best tool is to solve your problem. Yeah. And and you're not like, it's not like you're going to one of these big box national firms who have their own suite of products and that's right. all they pitch is their own, you know, they've got, you know, here's 10 
options. There you go. Uh, you. No, you're not doing that. You you have access to all. Look at all what all the different insurance companies offer. All the different uh, stock possible portfolios out there. So you can really help them narrow in on what's good, the best for them, right? We really can. We're kind of a smorgasbord. You know, you can't go to, I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this, Chick-fil-A and order a hamburger. Right. You know, it, it's, that's not what they do. So they're, they don't have that available. And, right. you know, when you do finally decide to retire, if you have to look at things and go, okay, I have this much in my nest egg, that means I can spend this many dollars every year. If you're not working with a fiduciary who can say, hey, wait, you might live longer than that. Hey, wait, we need to plan for what if you get sick? Hey, wait, we need to plan for inflation. You know, there are things that we as experts in our industry take a look at and troubleshoot for you that might not even be a blip on your radar. And it's everything from, okay, you wanna retire at 62, what are you gonna do for health insurance until you qualify for Medicare at 65? Okay, you wanna retire at 55, what are you going to do for cash flow until you're 59 and a half and can take money out of your IRA? You know, there are so many different variables and options that we have to look at for you that, you know, it, sometimes people take for granted what we do and everything that factors into deciding what your next step needs to be, how you can do this and retire successfully. Yeah. It matters. It really does. And I think, Barb, you make a good point there. And, uh, you know, to create a sustainable uh, income flow in retirement, you need to start as early as possible. And before you do things like, you know, uh, oh, I'm going to put all my money in my 401k or traditional IRA, mm -hmm. you need to look at that. There might be some other options in addition that you should look at, like Ross. And I know you've said before, Barb, uh, the foundation of retirement income is social security. You got to maximize that to get the most out of that as possible. Right. And that's a good way to make your dollars stretch throughout retirement. You do. And, you know, sadly right now, we also need to make some contingency plans because we don't know how long social security is going to be solvent. It's true. And we don't know what it's going to look like when it changes. Yeah. And, you know, when we have social security at the mercy of politicians and we have politicians saying like we did in the state of the union address, I'm not going to touch it or change it. They can't make that promise with where we are right now. No, because they can't keep kicking that can down the road because something's got to give. We're running out of road. Right. We're running, we out, of running road. out of road. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem with Washington in general. They've been kicking the can down the road on so many things so long that yeah. we're running out of road. And, yeah. you know, the message that I advocate for is that you take care of yourself. If you're relying on somebody else to take care of you, whether that is a sugar daddy, the government, um, you know, this gr great big idea that you've got that you know is going to be worth millions that has been sitting in your head for years that has sure. yet to make it out there yet. You know, you need to rely, you know, let's look at what you can control and let's build on that because that's where we have the most uh, discretion, control, and the ability to make or break what your successful retirement looks yeah. like. There you go. And I think that's the bottom line. But really, all this is about creating a, a, having a steady and reliable income stream in retirement and one that you know will always be there, that you, your monthly expenses will always be covered. And just the sense of relief to have that plan in place. Is exactly. Huge. And a lot of those options to create that sustainability are not things that you can do on your own. You're going to need the help of a financial professional to implement those. Yeah, for sure. Well, before we go today, Barb, then let our listeners know how they can get a hold of you to get a second opinion on where they're at, or maybe they don't have a plan uh, mm -hmm. or they're just getting started. Uh, 
I know that what they need is a written solid financial plan, uh, especially before they get to retirement. They do. Uh, You can reach out to us by going to anchoryourretirement.com or you can always call us at area code 913-553-6222. That'll put you into our automated attending. You'll be able to connect with our scheduling team or with one of our fiduciaries to see how we can help you create that sustainable, successful retirement. Excellent. Well, Barb, great show today. Such an important topic to get our listeners thinking about this, understanding why it's so important and knowing that there are other options out there. Uh, Listeners, again, that number, pick up the phone, give Barb a call. It's 913 553-6222. And Barb, great show today. Listeners, thanks for tuning in. That does it for today's episode of Anchor Your Retirement. Thank you for listening to Anchor Your Retirement. Don't pay too much for taxes or retire without a sound retirement plan. For more information, please contact Barb Golan at Safe Harbor Financial Planning Group. Call 913-553-6222 or visit them online at anchoryourretirement.com. Advisory services are offered through Safe Harbor Financial Planning Group, LLC, a registered investment advisor in the state of Kansas. All matters discussed during the show are for informational purposes only. Each individual situation may vary and the opinions expressed here may not apply to everyone. Materials presented are believed to be from reliable sources and no representations can be made as to its accuracy. All ideas and information should be discussed in detail with one of our qualified representatives prior to implementation. We are not affiliated with or enforced by the Social Security Administration, the Federal Medicare Program, or any other government agency. Calling this number will direct you to a licensed sales agent.